Nicholas Holberg, Mayor of the City of Griffin. It is a great Griffin day and glad to see everybody here with joining us today. I want to open up with the scripture real quick just to set the moment. Proverbs 28, 1 through 6. The wicked flee, though no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as the lion. When a country is rebellious, it has many rulers, but a ruler with a discernment and knowledge maintains order. A ruler who oppresses the poor is like a driving rain that leaves no crops. Those who forsake instruction praise the wicked, but those who heed it resist them. Evildoers do not understand what is right, but those who seek the Lord understand it fully. Better the poor whose walk is blameless than the rich whose ways are per perverse. Let's open in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you today for gathering together to reflect on the memory of the Jordan family and our lawman, Officer Kevin D. Jordan. Be with the message today. May it bring hope and wisdom and opportunity to do fellowship and, and reflect on his greatness. In your name, amen. amen. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Doug Holberg, and we want to welcome you. The City, of Griffin Board of Gr the City of Griffin Board of Commissioners and staff would like to thank you for sharing a few minutes today for the dedication of the Kevin Jordan Public Safety Complex at 234 North Hill Street, Griffin, Georgia. We want to give recognition to the Jordan family and express our sympathy for your loss of a son, a brother, a sister, a parent. We also want to recognize the officers of the Griffin Police Department and other law enforcement agency partners. We all appreciate your service and commitment to protect and serve. This afternoon, June 29, 2023, our community celebrates the life and service of U.S. Marine Corps veteran and Griffin police officer, Kevin D. Jordan, whose end of watch was approximately 2.30 a.m. on May 31st, 2014. That early morning phone call I received from City Manager Kenny Smith dropped me to my knees as tears poured from my eyes. We forever, we forever lost a part of our team that made our hometown a better place to live, work, and play. Like you, I have many amazing memories of Officer Jordan. Kevin's attitude and love of people was his greatest attribute. He seemed to always have a smile and a kind word. One evening following June Jam Street party, our Main Street director needed assistance unlocking her vehicle in the parking deck. As Officer Jordan, Jordan diligently worked to open the door, he shared a story with a grin how someone offered him a random act of kindness several years ago that made an impact on his life. This was just one of many opportunities in his daily walk for him to pay it forward. His spirit and charisma was contagious. So today, nine years after that tragic night, we continue to reflect and celebrate the life of Officer Kevin D. Jordan. Let me close with a reading, I am the sheepdog, to honor Kevin's memory and to thank the men and women who work hard to protect and serve us every day. I choose to believe. I believe in the power of a calling. I believe in the honor and sacrifice, in courage to the danger, the strength through the struggle. I believe in hope. I believe in the power of will, in justice, in a new day, and in making a difference. I will never stop believing no matter what comes my way. Some may hate while others turn a blind eye. There will be burdens and risk, loss of brothers and sisters, and the challenges to keep going, no matter what confronts me to make the danger. I will keep my faith, my hope, and my courage. I am a defender and a peacemaker. I am a sheepdog. To those in law enforcement and the judicial system, we just want to thank you for your service to our community. We're here, we stand strong with you, and want to encourage you to never quit. God bless you, and have a great Griffin Day. For those that do not know me, my name is Jessica O'Connor. I'm the current city manager with the city of Griffin. First, let me thank you all for being here today. This is a huge, overwhelming amount of support, and we're very glad to see that. On behalf of the city of Griffin, um, I just want to recognize the fact that we have lost a great man from what I understand. Unfortunately, I didn't have the pleasure to work with Officer Jordan. I started my career with the city in 2016, 
um, but prosecuted before that in municipal court. Unfortunately, our paths did not cross as I started in January of 2014. Um, what I do know though, are the stories that I have heard from officers that are still with us, from employees that are here. I think the, the amount of presence that is here right now from our staff is a great testament to what he was as a person and as an employee for the city. And so I wanted to just recognize why we name facilities. We actually have a naming policy. And what it says, and what I think is a, a great reflection of, of Officer Jordan, is that in order for a property to be named after a person, that person either had to be born or lived in Griffin, or have had a strong and or enduring connection with the city through a historical contribution of service on a regional, national, or international basis. I think again that this shows what Officer Jordan was for us. His legacy nine years later is still as strong as ever and I'm very proud to be standing here to be able to dedicate this building after him. Thank you for being here and I'm going to let Captain Daniel tell us a little bit more about Officer Jordan. Good afternoon. Let's start out with a prayer. Father God, we come saying thank you for Officer Jordan's service. Thank you for his commitment to excellence. Thank you for allowing us to have him in our lives and making our community stronger. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen. Let me start out by saying, if you didn't know Kevin Jordan, you missed out on a whole lot. Yes, yes. This is a guy that could ride up. We had a bicycle patrol. This guy would stop tractor trailers <laughs> on a bicycle. And the ones that worked with him, y'all know he did. But he could also be back at headquarters in less than 10 minutes, Amen. no matter where he was at. Because this guy was fit. He was in shape. He was one of my guys. So uh, we, we, shared, we shared it. Everybody shared it because if you knew Kevin, Kevin was always positive, never negative. He always turned a bad situation into a good one. And he always looked to bring the best out of everybody, never met a stranger. So, and I have to say this too about him as far as community service. Community service was his was the epitome of Kevin because Kevin would drive Big Blue. And the people that don't know who Blue Big Blue is, yeah. Big Blue is Spalding County's bus. He would take seniors all over from the baseball games to trips all over Georgia. And they and these people loved it because they wanted Kevin to go with them wherever they went. So also, he did a mentoring program with children at Fairmont. And also, really see apartments where he lived. Like I just said, his passion with children, the elderly, and anything dealing with community. So, I just, uh, I would like to first, I would like to say, I'd like to thank the City of Griffin Commissioner. I'd like to thank the Police Department, yes, yes, Sheriff's yes. Department, and everybody else here yes. who have come out to share this moment with Kevin Jordan. Um, also, I'd like to say a special thanks out to Captain Jett and Lieutenant Hayes, who were diligently working. Like I just said, it's uh, a delay is not a denial. And it's been, it's been coming a long time. But we're here now. So I say to you, thank you for coming out. Thank you, City Manager. Thank you, City Commissioner. I appreciate you. Um, now we're going to have a dedication of the building, and after the dedication of the building, we're going to give an award to the family for in the memory of Kevin Jordan and his service. Thank you. Get your candle. Okay. Hold it. This is my grandchild. Okay. 
Good evening, afternoon. I'm the mother of the late Officer Jordan. I stand before you this day thanking God for allowing me to be here. I would also like to thank the city of Griffin, the Board of Commissioners, the city of the Police Department for honoring the memory of my son by naming the public safety complex in his name. Not a day goes by where I don't miss my child, and I'm sure a lot of you also. Martin Luther King said, it's the quality, not the quantity. It says the quality, it's the quality, not the quantity. It's one life is the most. And so I want to say again, thank you for the city of Griffin, for all Arnie and Kevin on this Memorial Day, and God bless you from the family and all of you here. Then I want to say a prayer that God gave me, please. Like uh, once again, this, this, this day, oh Lord, I pray. If I can say it, I've been saying and going through it so much, I'm pretty emotional right now. Thy strength, oh Lord, just for this day, I pray you will impart. Again, renew my faith, Lord, in this new day I start. Reach out to me and keep your hand on everything I do. Direct my path to, Lord, the things undone and guide it through path anew. Give me the patience and the courage I need to do for others now. The things that you have me do, Lord, and kindly show me how. Through doubts and fears and heavy loads, I struggle on my way. Get through this rugged path. I know you're near today. You stir my feet. You lift my heart and you make my light shine. All my aches and my pains, Lord, you gladly leave behind. And I thank you for listening to this prayer. And thanks to all of those today. God bless you. And thank you for this time. The family and the commissioners inside for a tour and we have a little small reception as well for you and thank you all for being here again hello welcome to the Griffin Police Department we are inside of the training room that our uh, police officers use for their training so they spend time in here normally there's a bunch of chairs and tables up but this is where they do um, all of their training. So they do a lot of learning in here. They have um, seminars that they can participate in. And right now we are here to celebrate the dedication of our public safety complex that we have named after Officer Kevin Jordan. So we are inside the training room of Officer Kevin Jordan Public Safety Complex. I'd like to thank everybody today for coming out in memory of my uncle slash brother, Kevin D. Jordan. We really appreciate the city of Griffin, all of the amazing work that they've done to not give him back to us because that's something that can't be done, but to help ease the pain and, and let us know that we're not forsaken or forgotten, nor is Kevin. So we wanna just say thank you to everyone. We really appreciate all the love and the support and we just ask for continual prayers and we wanna say thank you to each and every law enforcement agent or individual that's providing back to public safety. Thank you. I just uh, think that today is a beautiful day. We all got to come out today and celebrate a great uh, officer, a great man, and a great friend. Uh, Kevin Jordan was everything that uh, Homer Daniel and our city manager, uh, Jessica O'Connor, talked about. He was uh, the life of the party, uh, just a, a great guy to be around. He and I used to have push-up contests uh, impromptu. We might be at Food Depot or at City Hall, but we would just drop down on the ground and start doing push-ups. Uh, just just a, a, a man's man, he was a mason, police officer, a father, a husband, a friend, and just a, a great person. And I think that today is a very befitting honor for such a, a fine individual. Thank you. Hey, uh, today's a great day. I knew Kevin when um, we lived across each other in Hampton, Georgia. He was at Martyr, and you know, he's always telling me he's gonna be in law enforcement. And I left and went in the Department of Correction. And I never forget that day I was down in the hallway and uh, I heard this voice, this thunderous voice in the hallway of the Correction Building. And I said, I can't be with one person. And it was Kevin Jordan. And um, me and Kevin, we was on the CERT team and, and we did a lot of great things in the Department of Correction together. And then I left there and I came out on the road and 
I was sitting at the old PD over on Papa Street, and I hear that same thundering voice one day, and I said, that can't be but one person. And it was Kevin Jordan, and I made a joke with him. I said, man, you got to quit following me like that. And uh, But Kevin, meant he was very special to me, and uh, I, I, I miss him still to this day. But I wish the family all the best, and I know that this still is a solemn time, and but I know it's, it's very well appreciated by the family and friends. Uh, yes, it's indeed an honor to come and celebrate the grand opening of the Polish Department, which is dedicated to Brother Kevin Jordan at the Public Safety Complex located in the city of Griffin. He was a member of St. James No. 4. Um, didn't know too much about the brother, just met him once or twice. But I do know that he was always on the square, that's for sure. Uh, I knew uh, Brother Jordan. He was an excellent man, full of charity and comedy, and he will be well missed. And it is great to see him recognized uh, for his dedication to the Griffin community, for Griffin Lodge number 317. Thank you. We're here for the dedication of the building, Center of Griffin Police Department building, Kevin, Officer Kevin Jordan. On June 28, 2023, it's been an honor and a privilege to have worked with Kevin. Also, it's a delay is not a denial. It's been a long time working on it. I want to thank Captain Jett uh, and Lieutenant Hayes, the city of Griffin, commissioners, as well as the people in the community. And if anybody knew Kevin, everybody knew Kevin was a community person. So I just want to say thank you to everybody. Uh, I think that today was, uh, was a great celebration of uh, Kevin's life and a great memorial uh, to his legacy. Uh, Kevin was a great guy. We really didn't start finding out all the stuff Kevin did in the community until after he was gone and uh, when people started reaching out. Uh, I think it's a great way to honor him, uh, his family, uh, you know, and just a way to keep his memory alive for everybody in the community. So I just want to say thank you to the city of Griffin uh, and the Griffin Police Department for this uh, honor that y'all bestowed upon them. Hi, my name is Bianca Johnson. I am the niece of my uncle, Officer Kevin Jordan, and I just want to give honor to his service to the city of Griffin. I know this opportunity to protect and serve was something that he really cherished and gave his all to so to my to the family and community i just want to thank you for how you've honored him and um the service and legacy that is continued to be seen throughout the city thank you hi my name is roger parker with concerns of police survivors and we're so glad to be a part of this dedication ceremony today for officer kevin jordan and uh, thanking him for his service and thanking the city of Griffin for memorializing him by this beautiful building. And we met Mama Jordan uh, at Kevin's, uh, Officer Jordan's visitation and his funeral, and have been in close contact with Mama Jordan ever since then. And she's a dear friend of ours, and uh, our motto for concerns of police survivors is that our officers are out there for us every day, and we want to be there for the families when they're no longer with us. So thank you and God bless. Officer Jordan, that was a real, that was a real man. It was a real, that was a real hero, put it like that. Um, I, I mean, I, I pretty much don't know what to say because he's just like, that, that man was my everything. That was, that was my dad, you know, at the end of the day, like, I miss the crap out of him. I wish, you know, things could have been different before that he passed, but it, things happen the way it happened. So, you know, I can't change that. But it's just like, hey, like, rest peacefully, Daddy. I love you. And, you know, we're going we're gonna to celebrate you all, all year long. We're very honored to serve our city. We couldn't have served at a better time. Very proud of the uh, police department the dedication to Officer Jordan. It's very fitting, very proud. Um, I started my career here probably more than 25 years ago and I did have the, uh, the, the luxury of serving and um, I miss him. He was a great officer and I'm very proud that um, we could dedicate this to his family today and to our city. My name is Truman Tinsley. I'm Mayor Pro Tem here in Griffin. 
Uh, didn't know Officer Jordan personally, but I did attend his funeral, and it was very impressive to see the tremendous outpouring of support for himself and his family to honor him. He was obviously a great man. Uh, so proud of our facility here, our new police department, and uh, the fact that we named it the Kevin Jordan Public Safety Complex. So come by to Griffin and stop by and see us. This is a great day in the life of Griffin, Georgia, here at the police office as the city and the county, all surrounding areas have come to honor the dedication of this facility as down the Calvin Jordan Public Safety Complex here in Griffin, Georgia. As a citizen, I stand to applaud the leadership of our city, all those who had an active role in it, and again, we welcome back to Griffin, even on this extraordinary, exuberant celebration, Mrs. Jordan, his brother, and his entire family. So on behalf of the Mount Zion Baptist Church family and Pastor Mount Zion here in the city, I wish the family well and that this will represent a legacy that will stand forever. God bless. Peace. Came into, came into town today to, to celebrate the uh, Officer Kevin Jordan renaming the Griffin Police Department and uh, Kevin Jordan name. Kevin was on my shift about eight, nine years, and I was his lieutenant. And uh, Kevin was a good friend of mine, more like a brother. I miss Kevin every day. Uh, his mom, she moved to San Antonio, Texas. I talked to her like twice a week to try to stay in contact with her and stay in contact with the family. And things like that and I try to keep his memory going and day of the anniversary we always try to go and place a reef on this uh, location where the incident happened at the Waffle House and other than that uh, I, like I said I just miss him. Good afternoon I do want to thank the Griffin Police Department for dedicating of the building to Kevin Jordan. Kevin was a man of integrity. He was a community service man. Loved everybody in the community. He loves the elderly, the children, the youth. Kevin will always drive the big bus for the uh, county. And I would, I would just like to say to the Jordan family, this was a long time coming, but we did it. And I thank God for the city of Griffin for dedicating this building to Kelvin Joy. Thank you so much. Um, I just want to say today is a, a very auspicious day for me and Kevin because today is our wedding anniversary. We got married 32 years ago on this day. And for them to dedicate this and honor him in the way that they have is truly a blessing. Um, I'm grateful. I'm thankful and we miss him dearly and thank you for acknowledging him the way that you all have done. Thank you.